All right guys, today we're gonna show you what it's like to scan a face and body with the new Einstar. And I've got Eric Lau here direct from Shining 3D out, helping us out with everything from software to scanners and CAD stuff. So if you wanna know more, definitely check out the rest of our videos and give us a call if you want to get a scanner or something for reverse engineering, 3D printers, we've got it all. But today, we're gonna see how well the Einstar actually scans a body and scans a face. Now this scanner is significantly more affordable than the rest of the line of professional scanners. It's really designed for consumers and designed to be able to get a cool scan and a good scan at an affordable price. Now, does it match up? You'll have to subscribe to see our other comparison videos to really see how it compares to the other ones. And I will say the other ones uh, come with a professional price and they definitely perform more like professional scanners, but this thing is pretty awesome. So without further ado, Eric, take it away. All right, so we're gonna start the scan of the Einstar to scan the full body. Um, and you guys can, for this is a really affordable scanner, so you can see how it's able to capture a lot of data, uh, specifically around the face. Big application for this is actually mold making and castings and things like that, for like sculpture or art or other stuff yeah. of that nature. So if you're someone who hasn't uh, explored 3D scanning before and you've always wanted um, to make like, a, or you've already done like traditional processes of mold making or casting, um, now you can see what's an affordable 3D scanner can um, help with your application. That could even be like, okay, you know, we want to scan something and 3D print it and then turn that into a sand casting or something like that. This is a great unit for basic stuff, for net shape parts, things of that nature. We're going to scan me and uh, this is an open invite to uh, remix this 3D file, which should be linked down in the description below. And if you want to buy one of these scanners, visionminard.com slash scanners. We've got a whole lineup, so check it out and uh, let's go. So you just really, you're gonna start with the face and then move down to the body and everything, right? Start with the face, move over to the body, and you'll be able to see how fast the 3D scan, um, how fast the scan will go and see how the data will look like. So first we're gonna start off uh, by capturing the face. Here in the software, you can see that we have Rob's face in view and we have a distance bar on the left. And we're just gonna go around and scan. Wow, look at that. In just a few seconds, I'm able to capture all of Rob's face and his torso and even capture his hair. Now, traditionally 3D scanners are pretty difficult at capturing hair, but with this scanner, we're able to scan his entire head in just a few, just 15 seconds. And so now that he's not on my face, I can, I can talk and move my lips, but I, I do want to stay pretty still. But one thing I noticed about this, uh, we've done scanning of, of you know, faces and whatnot with the HX and the H and the Pro HD, and the infrared light makes it so that I can actually leave my eyes open during the scanning process, which on the HX structured light or the Pro HD is ugh, nearly impossible. It's like painfully bright. Uh, it turns into a light show real quick. So the IR, which is featured on the um, Einstar here, this one, and the H, which is the professional version for body scanning and things of that nature, um, is really nice for your client if you're scanning people. So yeah, what did we get? So with this, uh, we have caught practically your entire human body measurement. You have the 3D file for your face. Uh, we have measurements for your, for your torso. Um, and we even have the color. Yes, yeah, so we came through here. I mean, that was what, a, maybe a minute. We got full color. We could go in there and like, we'd probably want to get under the chin a little bit. Um, but we got full color and all that, even down to the legs, right? down to the legs. And then I can just go and you can do, this software works exactly the same as a lot of the other software where you can just go in and you can just um, like select, I can paintbrush extra data that I don't need and just delete it. Or I could do something where I select a bunch of myself and then do connected domain. And that will find all the parts that are connected. So as you can see, there's a, uh, Looks like almost extra data right there on my pants area. And then I could invert and delete everything else. It looks like there's a lot of little unconnected parts. Um, so I'm not gonna do that on this one, but I'm just gonna unselect and then 
and we go back here and get rid of some of this hair or whatever and delete. But without even going too far, I can hit apply edit and this will go in and it's going to uh, go in and optimize all the different points and everything that uh, that the it picked up and it's going to even them out a little bit. So now you can see it's a little more even. I can still look at the data quality, which is a heat map, which is pretty cool. So it's red to yellow. So it didn't it's not according to the software, it's not all the greatest data, but it's enough for our purposes here. And then I'm going to optimize and generate the point cloud. And that's going to really go in and eliminate extra points and things like that. All right, so here we go. It's optimized. So it looks like it filled in a bunch of little things. I look like a wrinkly old man in this. No. <laughs> Good times good times not bad not bad for a quick little scan now we're gonna actually do another one where we just scan my whole body because as Eric was mentioning you know a lot of the times the process to get a full body measurement is like plaster casting and all this stuff it's just a not not a fun process but with this in uh, what about a minute you can get a full body cast so we'll go ahead and do that I'm gonna mesh this and save it out so I can download it and then uh, we're gonna set up for the full body All right, so let's check out the full body scan capabilities. And uh, I'm just gonna stand, what, right about here? Are you going over the same part multiple times or are you trying to like just get a like, really good pass on each section each time? Um, I'm slowly painting every section in. So I don't need to go back and forth to those areas. Um, the scanner is able to tell me exactly where I'm missing data um, at each point. So I can figure out where I need to continue scanning. So now we're done. And we have a full body scan in just under nice. 40 seconds. And the whole time you're watching sort of the distance on the screen as well as the lights on the back of this. You're listening for the speakers. If it starts making noise, it's not picking up data. Little tips like that to make it easier to scan throughout the workflow. And we've got the body of Rob. So if we take this, you can put like an eagle on the head or something like that. Okay, down here. So we came around and got the front of the hand. And then it looks like when it came back around a little bit, is that a seam or is that overlapping? It's a little bit of both. So they're not perfectly aligned there, but it's pretty close and you could probably modify that if you needed to. The other hand is pretty good for a fast scan. All right, we got all the basic data we need. Cool, just generate clouds or should I get rid of some data? So looking at the scan, um, I have a lot of data that I can use. Uh, you can see the full body scan that we did um, was really quick. We have a lot of the data around the arms, around the hands. We are missing some points around the legs here and also on this hand. Um, so if we wanted to start that scan again, I would have asked Rob to just kind of sit there, I mean, stand there, and uh, I could go back into the scan and fill these areas in. Uh, but since we're just showing um, what the scanner can do, we're just gonna skip over that and generate the, the point clouds. And scan speed is a pretty big deal, right? Because that was scanning at around 14 frames per second or so. And that's about the max for it. You get a slower computer, it'll do nine, eight, seven. Um, with something like the H, you're getting, what, 20 to 30 frames per second, right? 15 to 25. 15 to 25. And so you're getting a little more speed. You're probably getting a larger, a larger scanning window, right? I mean, I remember the first time I spent $1,000 on a 3D scanner and it was nowhere near what this was that was back in 2017 and it was definitely not uh not up to par but this thing yeah it's cool just to see how far the technology has come over the years all right guys so that is scanning face and body in the einstar just a real quick run through how fast you know how much data can you get in 30 seconds to a minute right so uh, with all of that if you have more questions or want a live demo want to you, you want us to scan something else let us know in the comments below or give us a call and shoot us an email at visionminer.com and if you're ready and you say i want this thing go ahead and pick one up at visionminer.com slash scanners we've got them in stock available at the time of this video so thank you so much for watching we appreciate it hit that subscribe and we'll see you on the next video